Welcome to Science Access. In today's class, we'll be talking about measure of dispersion or variability, and we'll be dealing with ungrouped data. Now, let's take this question. Determine the range, variance, standard deviation using the following scores or values 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 11. Right? Now, how do we go about this? It's a very simple procedure. Put your x, and since we have some data repeating itself, we would have to make a, a new column for f. So you put your x, you put your f, put your fx, and then you can put your x minus mean, x minus mean square. That's what you got here. You put square, then you now put f and that. Now the first thing you should do is just put x, put your value down. So put your three down, four, five, eight, nine. 10, 11. Remember, 9 is occurring two times here, but we just put one there. 11 is occurring two times here, we'll put one here. Now, how many times is 3 occurring? 1, 4, 1 time. 5 is occurring 1, six, uh, 8, 1, 9. Uh, we actually have two 9 values, so we'll put 2 here. 10, 1, 11, we'll have 2 here. Put 11. Now, after that, what's the next thing to do? Simple. 3 times 1, to look for the f of x, you use the x to multiply what? f. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 1 is 4. 5 times 1. So you do it down. Now take note. You now add the x. Sorry, you add the... You look for the summation of f. That's the sum of the frequency. So the sum of the frequency is actually 9. Now in this place, you look for the sum of the f of x. Remember, f of x is simple. 3 times 1. 4 times 1. So you just use the x to multiply f. Once you get them, then you now do the summation of f of x. f of x. If you sum it, you have 70. Once you have gotten that, the first thing to do, you remember, here you, you have to remove mean from x. So, but you have to get the mean first, the mean value first. So, how do we get that? Remember, to get the mean is f of x all over summation, or summation of f of x all over summation of what? f. Remember, Summation f of s is 70. You can see it here, 70. Why summation f is what? 9. So we have 70 all over 9. If you divide it and you have your 7.8 as the mean. Once you have gotten that, it's a very simple procedure. You continue your, cal your calculation. Now, here is x minus x bar or x minus mean. So what is x here? x is 3. 3 minus 7.8, you have minus 4.8. The next is x is 4. 4 minus 7.8, you have minus 3.8. And the next is 5. 5 minus 7.8, which you have here, you have minus 2.8. So 8 minus 7.8, you have 0 0.2. 9 minus 7.8, remember x minus mean. So x here is actually 9. Then mean is 7.8. So 9 minus 7.8, you have 1.2. So you do it down. Now, after that, what do you do next? You just square this value. Remember, if you square any negative value, you have positive value. So square this value, you get this. Square this value, you get this. Square this, you get this. So you square all and you write down the value. After that, what is the next thing to do? You now look for f of x minus s bar square. So you use f. 1 times this, you have this. 1 times Remember, we are using f to multiply this whole. So this whole thing, we are using f to multiply. So 1 times this, you have this. 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 Now 2. Here, the frequency is 2 here. Please take note. Frequency is 2 here. So 2 times this, you have 2.88. 1 times this, you have this. Then 2 times 10.24, you have 20.48. Now, once you get this, you are almost done. The next thing to do is to look for the sum of this as the sum of this. Sum of this. Add everything together. I have 73.58. Now, take note. Remember the formula for um, variance. It's actually this all over sum of the frequency. So let's calculate the range first. You know that the range value is actually the highest value minus the lowest value. So if you look at the question, you know the highest value is 11 and the lowest is 2. So the range is actually 11 minus 2, which is 8. Now variance. Remember, in some cases, they can ask you to calculate for standard deviation directly. 
you must get the variance first. So then you look for the square root of the variance. So variance in this case is actually sigma or summation f bracket x minus x bar square all over summation f. Remember here. Remember here we have the summation as of this as 73.56 all over summation f is 9. So if you divide, you have 8.17. To get the standard deviation, what do you do? Simple. Look for the square root of the variance. So the variance is 8.17. So square root of 8.17, you have this. So that's a very simple uh, way to get a uh, standard deviation and variance for all group data. Now you can do this as assignment. In this value, just add 12. Add one value to it. This same value, just add one value to it to make it um, 10 values. Add 12 to it, then calculate for the range, um, variance, and standard deviation. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.